Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stone Ocean episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this season. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get more seasons, uh, more announcement when like you know in the next year and uh, you know some updates as to when we're going to get uh, part 2 of uh, not part 2 but season 2 of part 6 uh, in the future. I don't think they have announced anything currently uh probably in the future one or two upcoming months we're going to get something you know uh, if they uh, we don't know if it'll be in the usual ona format you know like how they like you know uploaded every episode in one day on netflix or it'll uh, you know continue like the usual anime format like every week one episode uh i prefer either of it but i prefer i think i prefer uh the normal format a bit more because you know like it's kind of like like every week you're like you know, anticipating one episode it's kind of nice in that way as well and uh, you know like uh, we don't have to wait much if it's in the normal anime format if it's in this format the way they did it we'll probably have to wait a lot longer because they need to um, you know make all the episodes and then upload it all at once in one day so the wait will be a little bit longer so I prefer the normal anime format let's see we'll have to wait for that uh, so yeah, anyways, this episode this is the final episode of this uh, season of part 6 and in the previous episode we concluded our fight with um, Lang Wrangler. Yeah, I remember his name. I think it's it, it was Lang Wrangler. Yeah And his uh, stand jumping jack uh, There were a lot of scientific things in the previous episode, which I really enjoyed the way like you know the, the whole thing with the um, uh, air, the vacuum, you know, the other stuff that they are like more technical stuff. Uh, I really like that. Uh, as usual, Jolene used her, uh, you know, intellect and quick, uh, what do you call it? Versatility of her stand to uh, turn that situation and defeat the enemy stand. Uh, weather report is currently a bit injured, so I don't think he'll be able to do much now. But Pucci suddenly makes an appearance and Jolene sees him and that's where it ended let's see what happens in this episode so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number uh, uh 12 of jojo's bizarre adventures to motion i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> okay let's see Okay, here we go. Whoa, his eyes. <laughs> yep. So how is he going to weasel out of this situation? Yes. Okay. I... I really hope she Oh no, she doesn't realize <laughs> Yeah Oh no, he's going to tr He's going to trick her Oh boy. <laughs> In the basket. Ah oh boy. Well, she doesn't realize. Obviously he's not going to... Ah, well, yeah. Yeah, don't, 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 don't say that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, true.
Oh. Oh boy. Well. Okay, like we'll we'll deal about this later on, you know, like about Pucci. Yeah, obviously he cannot do anything. <laughs> we realizes that as well. Okay, one minute. Oh wait, who's this? My God, is this a new character? <laughs> well, obviously, it's apparent now. What? Wait. Oh my god, this guy's a gun. Wait, oh no. What the? Wait, what? Oh my god, he already had a counter plan. Yeah, I thought he was going to do something. Oh my god. Oh, sound effects. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, um... Wow, the sound effects are really... Like, you know, the alarm is ringing and everything. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, that's where the reports thing. I realized it now, you know, the, the things falling on the piano. Wow, okay. It's been a while we've seen Hermes and Foo Fighters. This is the third episode, you know? We've not seen them. All right. <laughs> Okay, well, all right, let's see. Torrential downpour warning. What is this, a backstory? Oh, Dio, okay. There may be a way to go to her. Sixteen. Hmm. <laughs> Spirits. Okay. And where are spirits? Then? Only if you can reach heaven, then we obtain true victory. Interesting. Whoa, do looks kind of different here. Hmm. Yeah, Dio looks very different here. This is a lot younger, I think. But he doesn't age. Wait a minute. Oh, he died. Or maybe not. Oh, his notebook was okay. Oh, that's why. Oh my god. That's why he wants his memory, I think. Yeah, there you go. He wants his memory. That's why.
two decades. Hmm. Okay, so Pucci is a lot younger than Jotaro. Okay, come on. I'm sh sure she, or maybe not. Come on. I really hope they are able to figure it out that this guy is actually white snakes wait what yeah Oh my god, she really got shot. I thought maybe she did something to stop it. Oh my god, so he conveniently cut out his identity from his memory. And the order is only that is remaining in his head. Okay, who can help in this situation? I don't think there's anyone. I don't think Hermes or wait, who the what the frog? Okay. <laughs> wait, what the raining frogs? What? Oh. Wait, how are frogs raining from the sky then? What is happening? Wait a minute, why are f What? It was reported. Wait, really? Why? Sheep? Oh, that's why. Okay. My God. Okay, this guy's a normal guy. He's not a stand user. Okay, it makes sense. Oh, nice. Okay, so weather report cannot manipulate uh, whether he can re replicate them, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just let one oh. oh my god ah oh my uh. yeah Oh my god, it's seeping in. <laughs> no one's my god. <laughs> Yo, he's he's in trouble now. What? Oh he's calming down, okay.
<laughs> wow, that's a... <laughs> Made a mistake. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Well, he's dead. What else do you expect? Like, he's a normal guy. Obviously, he won't be able to survive. Whoa. Okay, he really did come. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Oh my god. Ah, uh, well, there you go. There goes your. F oh. Ah. Oh no. Okay, someone's here. Oh no. Wait. Oh my god, he realizes those are poisonous. He won't go now. Or maybe not. There you go. Yeah. He won't do it on his own. <laughs> he really doesn't want to. Go, dude. Ah. Oh my god, no. Oh, he's going to insert in one of the frogs. Ah. Wait, what would it do? Like, oh, he's going to now say that open this and then I'll help you or something. Yeah. Okay, he opened it. Obviously, he's not going to help you. Yeah, he won't do that. Yeah. Oh my god, it's... Okay, it's... Okay, the, the, the frogs are stopping. Okay. <laughs> My snake put <laughs> Okay. Oh.
Okay. Okay, there it is. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. You you did you did her job for her because he she couldn't do it. <laughs> Wait, she stuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're harmless. Oh, interesting. That's how she did it. Okay, now what? Yeah, now what? She's shot. So Wait, what the what was that? Oh, is that Speedwagon Foundation? There you go. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, fly away. Okay. Okay, 20 meters, you can't go. Oh boy, oh no, no, he can shoot it. Oh boy. Oh, it's empty, nice. Yes. Now what? Okay, it's gone. Off. Oh boy. Okay, people are here. Oh wait, what did she do? Oh, he's going she's going to see who it is. Yeah. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, there goes. Unquestioned. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay. Wait, that's it? What? I feel like that was a little bit short, or maybe we have an after credit scene. Let's wait for it. Yeah, I think that's quite short. Maybe there's an after credit scene. I'll wait. Okay, now. Okay, so this episode, oh boy. Uh, well, we ended in a very <laughs> bad way in this episode. It, 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 it's not looking good. So probably we'll, we'll get our comeback in the upcoming season. In the continuation. But yeah, we were almost going like, you know, like very close to finding out uh, his identity, not we, but Jolene. Uh, but unfortunately, he he realized that uh, the string was attached to uh, White Snake. Okay, and another thing, like, I think if Jolene was uh, aware that she's going, he's going to shoot her, 
she could have escaped that situation because you know like how she can make hollow holes within her body you know because her body is basically composed of the string if she just you know like rearranges the string she can easily do that just like how one of in one of the episodes she escaped a lethal blow by doing that you know by repositioning her strings inside she could have easily dodged that bullet but since she didn't know that she is going to get shot she got shot there you go there's something left sports max oh no this bone this is the wait oh no this is not that bone that's dio's bone oh i thought that was emporio's that bone that you know like okay all right that's the end let me check if there's anything else no that was it no announcement nothing okay all right anyways um okay in the end i thought that was like you know um emporio's mother's bone or something but turns out no it's, that, it's not that i, I thought like he, he was going to track down emporio or something no he's just doing that to find something more about duo i guess all right now here's the thing mm, i think it i don't know why but you know like i think julian should be able to actually uh what do you call it should be able to actually join the dots that who is the one i don't know because it seemed like julian uh trusted uh pucci like you know because obviously he's a father and you know like since he allowed her to go to the courtyard uh maybe he won't suspect him because of that that's probably going to was what's going to happen but if you actually think about it you know like by just you know like think about it slowly uh you should be able to realize that like only P pucci was here you know like so i don't know like like i can i can like you know we, like we can say this because we already know white snake's identity you know we're, we're as an audience we are seeing this from like you know we're seeing the whole picture that's why we can say that oh like you know like he should, should she should be able to make a guess that it's white snake um it's pucci who is white snake's ability user but like you know like through jolene's perspective um it's not that simple because she doesn't know what's actually happening she doesn't know the whole picture unlike us audiences who are watching this on a tv screen so or, or a computer screen so <laughs> It's, it's i think it's pretty difficult in that perspective uh maybe maybe uh, i don't know weather report maybe suspected something we still don't know because you know during that scene where we see someone got shot weather report saw that pucci just normally went away you know like just closing the door behind him like maybe he suspected something who knows but uh, probably jolene did not jolene did not suspect anything and uh yeah maybe he he probably thought that oh this is like like a normal person a normal father of this like you know prison like he has nothing to do with it and um yeah that's probably it and he she probably still will not suspect pucci uh in the near future surely but yeah but at least she knows his face now you know that like that's that's the uh, uh that's one of the biggest things that happened she at least knows him now by his appearance so it'll help her a lot to actually track down the original identity of white snake's ability user so that will help a little bit but yeah i'm, I'm guessing like you know when 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 the next part will start uh season two of part six will start i'm sure she won't be able to realize who the actual ability user is or maybe she will who knows we'll have to wait for that but anyways this episode here we we went okay we, we started from that scene where pucci comes in and obviously jolene was jolene thought that it was just you know like a normal person not a standability user and uh, since uh, like you know pucci is a father he like she became a lot more respectful and everything i think that's that's that probably uh, is another reason why she not did not suspect him because you know because he, he's a father and like you know like obviously after seeing him she started talking respectfully and everything 
and you know that that's an, another like you know like another reason why she did not suspect him if this if this was some other like you know normal prison guard or something maybe she she would have suspected that person but not Pucci because he's a father i think so that's another big reason why she you know did not suspect him mm, who knows maybe yeah maybe that's that was the reason but anyways um yeah she asks like you know she says that oh like uh, like help me out like this is like involving someone's life and death i only need one minute to go out and all that stuff and obviously pucci was like you know what like i'm getting a chance to get out of this situation i should not reveal my identity because there is still someone else who is hiding there like if 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 uh weather report was not there i think he would have probably tried to kill jolene because weather report was there like you know like he knew that if he tried to kill Jolene he probably would have been able to but maybe weather report would have run away or something and you know like and I think uh, just a minute I think yeah I think Pucci didn't even realize that weather report was injured I think that was another reason he I think he thought that maybe he was just hiding there so that probably like you know struck him she, he was like wait a minute if I actually do something to Jolene weather report would realize who I am and he would probably escape from here and tell everyone you know all of his friends and everything that oh this guy this guy is a main step standability user and like you know once that happens he'll be in big trouble so that's why he did nothing to jolene at that moment if jolene was alone he probably would have tried to kill her so yeah that's what happened so he tried like you know he he, he was like okay let's just you know keep acting like this he was like yeah like I'll give you one minute and uh, just go out and you know like do what you want and uh, yeah okay um one thing okay one thing that I really liked that the thing that he said he says that doing something from others is all an act of expecting a reward or expecting something like the other person will do back to you you know like give something uh, back um to be kind to others is to expect kindness from others yeah okay and then there is no such thing as unconditional love because unconditional love is a reward to go to heaven um interesting like you know point not a point that he made yeah like there's no thing called unconditional love like you know what this this really reminded me of again like and I, i've talked about this show a lot before i've even referenced this show a lot before as well is vinland saga like there was one section which one of which was one of the best scenes in anime i have to say where the priest talks about love what love is and you know like uh like he also talks about this this like you know this unconditional love what is love and you know like we do something for someone either expecting something back or to like you know because of our own like you know uh, discrimination like you know he said that some like someone loving another person is not pure love it's basically discrimination a mother loves his child that's not like you know complete love he said something like that yeah that's not pure love that's basically you you know like you discriminate b between your child obviously like if you have to choose someone you know like if there's two person you can only say if one of his is your child another one is a random other person you'll obviously choose your child because you love him or her and like that's discrimination that's not love you know and like he said that love only comes from death where after you die you like you know unconditionally give everything to ev everyone like once you die your body rots it goes back to the soil you know like the soil like you know from the soil comes like you know like new life uh, emerges and you know like all others like you know animals herbivores they consume that grass or whatever and it goes to the cycle of life and that's unconditional love so like he said like death perfects a person which is something that Pucci here says, which is very similar to that. And I, I, I love, like that scene is one of my favorite scenes in Vinland Saga. And this, this thing that Pucci said here, is, it kind of reminded me of that scene. And yeah, like it's interesting, like, you know, like, like that he says that love is not unconditional. And like, you know, there's nothing called unconditional love. Uh, like, you know, and he says that, where is it? Uh, 
Okay, because, yeah, because unconditional love is a river. I think maybe there's a little... Maybe there's a little translation there. He says, Mikaeri. Something you give back. Yeah, it can be called a reward. But this translation seems a little bit stiff, I feel like. Yeah, I think this translation is a little bit stiffer. I don't know why, but uh, he said that because unconditional love is a reward to go to heaven. But in the actual Japanese, like, you know, like voice, it does kind of mean something like that, but it's, it's a little bit different, the thing that he actually says. Mikairi. Mikairi is, I think, something you give back, which can be called a reward, but it's like, it's like a weird translation, I feel like. But anyways, like, yeah, like this thing, this, this, this section was really great. I, I really like this section and the way he explained that. And uh, yeah, but well, anyways, <laughs> I'm talking a bit too much about this part. All right. Anyways, um, so yeah, the next part, uh, he like, you know, Jolene goes out and obviously um, uh, Whitesnake already had, uh, Pucci already had something, someone there from the beginning. And for a moment, I thought that he was a stand ability user. But turns out, no, he's just a random guard. He just used, you know, the disc on him to order him to shoot Jolene. It would have been a big problem if he was an actual stand ability user. He could have easily killed Jolene there. You know, even after the frog started raining, he could have killed her. But thank God he was not a stand ability user. Okay. Um, yeah, that guy... Uh, Oh, okay, so then we get a little flashback here where we get to see um, Dio also talking about the same thing about like, you know, like heaven. Just a second. Where is it? Surely you understand what I'm talking about more than anyone. Um, true happiness lies there. Only if you can reach heaven. I know that happiness can be obtained by having the mightiest body, the most money, and the highest status. <clears throat> True victory belongs to those who have seen heaven. I will do everything to reach that end. Interesting. I never thought Dio had this type of uh, like you know goal. Like I always thought he was doing everything for power and everything, but maybe not. Maybe he was looking at something even further beyond. You know that which we never knew and we we're getting to know now currently uh, but anyways um so yeah here he talks about that and it's another interesting thing we can see here is he's actually not doing this uh to take revenge against like you know for dio like he said that he he took the stand because he wanted to take a little bit of revenge on him but that's not the actual reason why he did this thing to jotaro his actual like you know motivation is that book which I also, again, I never thought that was the reason. I thought that he was actually doing this to take revenge or something like that. But he like, you know, clearly says here that he got Jotaro's memory just because of that. He wanted to see what Jotaro read in that book. Because according to him, that book contained everything that would let him know about how you can attain, like, you know, go to heaven. And attain, like, you know, that type of, uh, what do you call it? Where is it? Yeah, Jotaro read the contents of that notebook um, and he sealed its contents forever along with Dio Brando who aimed for heaven. Okay. Okay, I laid in wait for over two decades uh, to gain access to Jotaro's memory. The contents of the notebook are within his memory. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah, that was his main motivation, which is another thing that surprised me. I was not expecting something like that. As I said, I thought he was doing this for revenge or something else, you know, mm, maybe something like that. So this is another surprise. But he does say in the end that I kind of took away his stand because that was a little bit of a revenge thing that I tried to do just because he killed Dio. But that was not my main goal. My main goal is the memory, which I still have. So I don't care that the uh, stand went away. That was since that was not my goal. So yeah, this is this 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 is quite an interesting reason why he like you know became their enemy. Like it's basically because he wants to know what was in the notebook. 
it's, it's quite a unique reason i have to, i think i have to say but yeah all right anyways um so that was that we get the little flashback and all um now here's another weird thing happens here which honestly speaking i for the f at the beginning i wasn't able to understand what was happening frogs start falling and um i f at first i thought it was some other person some new stand ability or something I, it never struck my mind that it would be weather forecast because uh, uh, weather report because you know like like what type of weather uh, frogs fall from the sky in what type of a weather like but then i saw like him actually doing that and i was like wait a minute like how can like he can manipulate weather how is he making frogs fall out from the sky now here's an interesting thing um that he says here where is it uh, not he but the narrator says is between 1887 and 1974 in florida alone um <clears throat> okay uh it was reported that more than 50 cases of fish frogs snakes and sheep fell from the sky um the cause is attributed to tornadoes and whirlwinds and these are the poison frogs which live atop the trees of central and south america guys uh, okay that was that okay so here's the thing i am still not completely sure as to what happened here um this i have a few explanations in my mind which might be wrong number one is so it's so the way i'm seeing this is it's not that he manipulates weather but he replicates weather is that what he did here because otherwise it wouldn't make sense like if he actually manipulates weather like how can he do something like this you know because so many frogs are falling from the sky but if he actually replicates weather or something like that maybe he replicated that day from you know like when when stuff were falling from the sky you know that because of that tornado like it would make a lot of sense if he actually replicates weather but i'm still not sure about this let me know in the comment section you know if it, it if it's not any type of a spoiler let me know if he actually replicated the weather or whether this is something that uh he did by manipulating the weather maybe maybe he like made the tornadoes somewhere you know and that's how the frogs that like, came up and started falling because i didn't see any tornado happening here it, it was just a little cloudy so it, it would be weird if he actually manipulated the weather and made a tornado because because here we we don't see any tornado it, it was just like the frogs falling so that's why i'm saying it would make sense if he actually replicated that day you know that weather one day when it happened so yeah it would make a lot more sense but i don't know maybe maybe it's something else this this part is kind of a little bit confusing because they don't actually give us a proper explanation as to how he was able to do that like the narrator just says that yeah this happened this one day from uh, this day to this day like in florida uh like you know like ships and sheep snakes like you know frogs they were all you know up in the sky because of the tornado and then they fall, fell down and you know that that was just it that's what they just explained they did not explain how weather report was able to do this the specifics of his you know um ability they did not explain that but anyways if, if it's not any type of spoiler you know let me know if i'm correct or not if he just replicated the weather of or it, if it was something else that i'm it's not coming to my mind but yeah all right anyways that was that but yeah he does that the the frogs they contain uh, poisonous like you know stuff within them and that's why when they fall they kind of splatter in the ground and the the mucus kind of comes out and that's how like you know the other person gets poisoned jo jolene was able to kind of like you know uh save herself from that situation using the stand similar to uh pucci who was also using his stand to save himself while the other guy the normal guy uh he just got poisoned okay now pucci like you know he he was a little, a little bit of a pro like you know <laughs> problem here he just like you know like his uh his cart fell down wasn't able to pick it up and he called the guard the guard also like you know the cart fell down from the guard as well and <laughs> yeah so 
another random guard comes in Pucci tells him to help him out but as soon as he realizes those frogs are poison he was like oh i need to call my superiors and he just tries to run away but obviously uh, you know uh, Pucci had his own ideas he just like you know kicked a frog towards him used the disc and told it to explode uh it hit the guard's eyes and um Pucci's like yeah come here like you know like i'll i'll help you out he brings the guard the guards open the door <laughs> he just leaves <laughs> my god uh, but yeah okay and then like you know like he uses his stand to go out and obviously he cannot go out because you know that would be suspicious he uses his stand to go out 20 meters distance you know the range and he orders it to get the disc and so here we actually see what jolene did jolene actually shielded herself using the frogs you know like kind of stringing them together and as he said as she said like you know as they fall and they splatter that's how why they're poisonous their, their mucus kind of comes out the normal frogs are not poisonous at all you know so yeah like that's why she did that to help save herself from the other frogs and obviously she cannot get up and try to find the disc because she's short currently and even if she somehow tries to you know crawl her way out uh why with uh sorry uh, white snake would see that and probably defeat her so that's why she pretended to be dead you know using the frogs as a little camouflage and waited for <laughs> white snake to find the disc white snake found out the disc and he was obviously not paying attention to jolene because he thought that jolene had died she takes that opportunity grabs the disc and just you know like what do you call it like kind of launches it up the pigeon or or dove what was that was that a pigeon what was it um anyways whatever that was that bird um savage garden took okay wait a minute where is that bird this is a let me check out oh yeah there it is wait the bird has a little prosthetic no what is that oh yeah no no not a prosthetic that there was a mechanical thing you know like that grabbed the disc nice <laughs> okay so the bird grabbed the disc and started flying away thankfully uh the distance the range was 20 meters white snake had and thankfully the gun had no bullets otherwise he could have shot the bird so that's good the bird goes away jotaro won't have any problem of his body rotting away now that's good so but obviously as uh, pucci said he'd be like an empty husk but still his body will be fine at least and yeah now obviously jolene can't do anything here he white snake tried to kill her but the guards came in at a very uh you know like good timing and Pucci was like, nope, I'm not taking any risks. He just withdraws uh, White Snake. Jolene does try to track him down using her stand, but unfortunately, Pucci was able to see the stand and just, you know, sever the, the string. So, yeah, she wasn't able to figure out who uh, White Snake's ability user is. But yeah, we're, we're, we're surely going to. You know little by little she's surely going to uh realize who it is as time goes on and we actually like you know in the end we see her passing like passing out uh like the hospital the, uh, the paramedics come in they take her in and i think hermes also got to know about that situation hermes and foo fighters yeah, like we got a little scene for all of them. Like Podio was also there, all of them, you know. And I really hope, uh, I'm sure like uh, Weather Report will also be fine. He'll probably be found out as well. And uh, yeah, and people would probably say that, oh, this was just like a, you know, like he, she got injured. Like no one would say that uh, she tried to run away. Where is that section? They do explain that scene. Where is it? Um... Okay, here it is. Jolene's escape attempt was unquestioned in this chaos. There you go. 
So hope yeah, like thank God she her sentence won't increase. <laughs> which she had like you know she thought that which would happen because obviously he's bre she's breaking the rules. She was ready for a few more years, you know, to increase, but that won't happen here. Yeah, that's good. So okay, that was that. And in the end, we get a little scene of talking, like you know, um, Gucci talking to some other guy. This guy whose name is Sportsmax, another uh, stand user, I'm guessing. Okay, he says that I want you to try to uh, try something using your ability, and he gives the duel's bone to him. So I'm guessing he has some. His stand is something that's going to help it like you know help him to find something about the bone okay uh yeah dio's bone there you go so yeah that's another thing and i don't know how he got his bone oh maybe maybe he found it or something because we saw him going to the places where you know like so probably he went to the place where Dio was defeated or something. Maybe if he found the bone there. Who knows? But yeah. Alright, that was it. That was this episode. It was the final episode of this season uh, of part 6. So I'm sure they're going to bring some announcement in one or two months. And as I said in the beginning, uh, I would like it to be in an anime format, you know, like every week one episode because it would be a lot, it would come a lot quicker. If in the normal, like, you know, this format where they upload every episode in one day, you know, it would take a little bit more time if they do it in that manner. Because obviously you need to animate everything and, you know, clear everything up and then, like, you know, like the release date will come out. So it'll take a lot more time if it goes in that way. So, yeah. So anything, anyways, like, you know, whatever it, whatever happens, you know, like, however they decide to upload the vid, um, the anime, like, you know, I, I don't have any problem with it as long as the story is as amazing as we saw here. And, you know, the animation is as good as we are seeing the soundtrack as well. So if everything's all all right, like, you know, it wouldn't be a problem in the way they upload it and the way, you know, the, the anime airs weekly or everything in one day, it, it, it wouldn't matter. But yeah, I really hope this, like, you know, and I'm sure it will continue. Like, this is David production we are talking about. Like, you know, they, they, they have not disappointed us in any of the parts. So, yeah, I'm sure this will continue. And I'm sure, uh, like, you know, the adaptation will be as, like, you know, normal pace that we can see. Uh, and it, they won't try to rush stuff because a lot of good animes kind of got, uh, you know, like, completely butchered because, like, you know, the studios and whatever, they try to rush things quickly and skip half of the things and maybe sometimes they completely change the story like those things are really not like you know like good so david production have not done done that i think never I've, I've never seen anyone say that oh like in jojo this part got skipped or something i've never seen anyone say something like that so i'm sure like you know that won't happen in the future as well like th this is in good hands <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyway so that was it so thank you guys for watching this was the final episode of part six and uh, this season and so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah i'll be waiting for any announcement and i'm sure it'll be quick you know because um <laughs> yeah like this is jojo's bizarre adventure we're talking about and i'm sure everyone is very excited to see what happens in the you know in the upcoming episodes and it kind of ended in a not a cliffhanger but in a very concerning position so yeah like hopefully the announcement comes quick and we know when the next season will come out so yeah we'll be waiting for that so thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next video until then goodbye and have a nice day